Okay, so uh, here we are in Unreal. And what I'm going to do is create a decal that we can place on different objects. So basically, we're going to add some variety to uh, different textures. So I've imported my Rust decal. And I go in, I've just made these folders, so I've got a materials folder. And what I'm going to do is right click in here and create a new material. And I'll call this uh, Tut Decal. Go into this. I'm going to go into my textures folder and I'm going to drag and drop my Rust decal. And just as a note about this, just to show you that we do have an alpha on this. Um, okay. So sorry, if I just click. Uh, there you see we have our alpha channel. And I may also make use of some of these other channels, particularly uh, the red channel, which may be good for creating a roughness map. So let's just close out of that for now. So at its most basic, what I could do is I could just plug in, oops, uh, let's just set this up to be a decal first, sorry. So, so for a decal, I just need to go over to this material domain, bring this out, I need to change it from a surface to a deferred decal. That's going to set this up so our decal blend mode is translucent. Um, you sometimes get errors as well for the blend mode, so I'm just going to change this from opaque to translucent as well. I'm going to connect up from our RGB into our base color and then I'm also going to take out from the alpha channel if you imagine that this is the RGB then we've got the red green blue channel split up and then we've got the alpha separated so I can split this out into my opacity and there I actually have my texture it's going to apply that and just save. Just for a second, I'm just going to go into materials and this is my uh, decal. Let's just drag this out. Okay. So the first thing we need to do is just rotate this round. So I'm just going to rotate this round on my x axis, 90 degrees. And there we have our decal. Now the thing about decals, uh, the position of them, is uh, you just got to be careful with them because they will hit whatever is in front of these. So if we had another object on this, it would hit everything in its path. Uh, so just as an example, um, let's just say take a cube. Grab our decal. So you see anything in front of that it will hit. Okay. So what we have to do is just position this. And I'm just going to scale this in. Bring this out. So it's not hitting anything else. Similarly, if it's hitting the ground, you can see it starts bleeding into the ground itself. So this is just the awkward thing about using decals. It just is positioning. If we wanted to, we could shrink this down and uh, we could just position this anywhere we want as well. So I can just get whatever we want from that. Okay. So just as a bit of variety to that wall. We're not using a brand new texture for this, we're just placing this decal wherever we want to place it. Okay. Just gonna add a few more things to the um, decal material. I'm just gonna double click on it again, just to add a bit of control to this. So the first thing we may want to do is be able to control the strength of the opacity on this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a lerp, a linear interpolation. So I'm just going to press, well we can do two things, we can go in, I can type in lerp, find it, a linear interpolate, or we can just press L and left click, and we'll create a linear interpolate that way as well. So. Uh, I'm going to leave our constant A at 0, which is going to be basically transparent. And I'm going to use a 
one constant vector just by going to our constant and just press one and left click to create that. I'm going to drag that into the B channel and I'm going to drag out from our alpha into the alpha channel and then connect up from our alpha uh, output or our lerp output into our opacity. Okay. Now if I set this to zero we're not going to have anything at all. If I set this to one we're going to have our full strength on there. Okay. Then anything in between. Okay. We can actually take this higher as well. but I probably only want to use it a value between 0 and 1. So what I'm actually going to do is I'm going to clamp this. So I'm just going to drag out from the lerp and type in clamp. And our clamp will just clamp this value between a value of 0 and 1. So we can't go above and below that or it won't have any effect at all. Again, let's just set this to 1. I'm also going to create a roughness map as well. Um, so we're saying, um, just looking at the red, if we think about roughness, then black is completely shiny, white is completely rough. Uh, I think, let me just check that. I'm just going to use a 3 constant on this. I'm going to unplug this for a second. So there you go, we have a value of black there, completely shiny. If I just go into this color and put in a value of war of white, we have completely rough. Okay. So uh, just looking at these, if I just go back to my textures, I'm looking for the one that's kind of more aimed towards white, because I don't know why it's too rough. So our red channel. Ignoring this because this is going to be uh, the alpha is going to get rid of that anyway. So we want this to be uh, so where we have the darker areas, it's a bit shinier. Okay, so something like that, they'd be really shiny and that which you don't want. So just using those as the basis for this. Again, I could just drag this in and put this into our roughness. That will give us a shine on there, but I'm going to add another element of control to this again. So I'm just going to add an add node. So if we uh, press A and left click, I'm going to add another constant one vector. So I'm going to drag from the red channel into our A and from our constant into the B. Again, what I may do is just put a clamp on this. So, uh, just highlighting our clamp. Just move the mouse over here and we can Control and W. Create a copy of that. And let's connect these up. Let's just give myself a bit more room. Okay. I've just switched the alpha off just so you can see the roughness uh, a bit better. So, on our value here. I type in a value of 1. It's very uh, rough. If I have a value of 0, it's a bit shinier on there. Okay, so it just gives us an element of control on that. I'm going to put this about 0.5 for now. And let's just connect back in our opacity. So, to be able to change these parameters, uh, we need to parameterize them. Um, so what we can do, just right click. I'm going to convert to parameter. So this one, I'm just going to go in and give it a parameter name of, uh, let's call this uh, roughness. And click on this and Let's convert to parameter and let's call this alpha strength. And 
And we could also parameterize our texture sample as well. So we could just load a texture in there. So if I uh, again right click and convert to parameter, and let's just call this ecal map. I'm going to apply that and I'm going to save it. Just get rid of that for a second. So this is what we have so far. But what I can now do with this, just go back to my materials. So this is our touch decal. I'm going to right click on that and I'm going to create a material instance of this. I'm just going to go with the default name. So let's just delete our original and I'm going to drag in this instance now. Same thing, just going to drag this around. Scale this in. I'll do it for now. Now the beauty about this now is I can double click on this instance. Let's bring this to one side. Close this down. Don't quite know what's happened to my oh, there we go. Just updating itself. I don't know why that went black. Um, so we now have our roughness. So I can bring this up and down. If we want a bit more shiny on there. If we're using this as more of a blood texture, I want a bit of shine on that, depending on what we're using it for. Just set that to be completely rough. We have our alpha strength. So you can fade this in and out. Okay. And what we can also do, click our decal map, and if we wanted to, we could bring in a completely different texture and change that up as well. Okay. Now, uh, this is presuming that this has an alpha channel in place to be able to do this. You can see any of these, you can just kind of change that up as much as we want. Okay, and that will work. So we could create another version of this as well. So let's get my original. Create material instance. Let's drag a copy of this on as well. So let's say we switch these up again. Um, so this one I'll bring in the graffiti Let's just make sure I've got the right one do is just play around with this just to position it and I'm also going to go into my material and let's just take up the uh, oh, what I may want to do actually um, let's just set this is I may just bring down the strength of my other one. Okay. Save that. And there we go. We have decals, so we can layer the decals up, depending on the strength. Uh, we can reposition them and rescale them. So really useful at creating a, a more detail onto our textures are our objects. Okay, so that's a quick look at decals.